Hey, it's Joe Lines from The Automator, and the other day I published a really long video with Maestrieth and Hellbent. It was recorded several years ago, and the audio quality was really bad, and I, what I wa was worried about was, like, it's like 47 minutes, I think, because it's so bad. You know, maybe a lot of people wouldn't watch it, so I thought, let's at least break out this first part. Let me show you the script. Oh, before you do, you can get that scripts here. It's part of the, uh, the other download that has all the other scripts from that main video but you can get to the same spot. And please like and subscribe. It really help me if you'd like this video and subscribe. Uh, I'd appreciate it. All right, let's jump into the code. So here we're demonstrating, uh, what I did is also I broke it out a little bit. So here's the number of images we wanna create and the number of loops that we wanna create. So I put those into variables instead of having them static in the script. And we're using single instance force. So this active X, this is kind of the whole point of the video of, of what we were doing before with, with Hellbent was, Instead of using a GUI to draw things over and over and over to use an active X that will automatically like refresh in, you're basically creating HTML in the DOM and moving the pictures around there instead of using a GUI to do it, which is just much slower. So the key points here, so we have a 800 by 500 GUI. This is the variable, of course, when you create GUIs, it's gonna be WB is the variable. You put the V in front of it and it'll automatically pick that up. And this MHTML, that'll I think be the title maybe. And then here we're looking at how many loops, the number of images. So it's going to loop over the sink 50 times. So we'll do this loop 50 times. And it's going to create this element. So notice we're using the dot notation here. So this element, IMG, and then it's going to shove in. Now I found a PNG file that was kind of, it's the Windows logo kind of thing. That's, you know, a certain dimensions. But in the video, we did a 10 by 10 image. And it doesn't really matter what we use, right? But this should be on your computer. If it's not here, find something that's like a 10 by 10 size. And I think almost any type of picture will work fine. And then here it's appending it to the body. So it's basically looping over them and adding them and just setting it after when it appends it to the position is absolute. This is one of the things that tricked, tripped up Maestria during the video. Now this was a live video where he didn't know we were doing this. So I'm not knocking him, right? It was really cool he did this. So it creates them all and then we show it and then the magic really happens. I think this here, he's shoving it. I should have asked him, but he puts it into a variable so he can use this array format down here. So I think that's why he did that because otherwise we should be able to access, there should be some way to rewrite this to access it as an object instead of that. But I tried using like a for loop, but I don't think it has the, um, I forget what it's called, but it doesn't ha allow you to, to loop over them. Anyway, so uh, you get a random X and a random Y coordinates, of course, within our X and Ys. And then you're setting the position to wherever that X was to the left and to the Y of that random value. And then we're slowing it down a little here just because it's, it's so fast if we don't have this leap in here. So let me go ahead and launch it. And you can get an idea of what it looks like. I think it's pretty cool. So that's, it's showing these 50 images. It's going to loop over it a hundred times, randomly putting them. It looks like they're moving, but they're not moving. They're just randomly being positioned in places. So let's slow this down to like 20 instead of 200. And again, you see how crazy that was. Uh, obviously, it ends much faster. Uh, let's make it 150 and rerun it. And this is where the reason why we did the whole longer video was Hellbent, when he got up to like a thousand images, and let's let's put this up to a thousand, his computer was really bogging down because it was trying to draw a thousand things in just not an efficient way. This even though it had, no, it did take a little longer. You can see to loop over that hundred, but it cranks them out, right? So, and if this is why we had a 10 by 10, it'd be easier to see all the dots. But I, I think you get the idea. And it's just a really great example of how an ActiveX GUI can be very simple in what you're doing. It just depends, of course, what your goal is and what you're trying to do. So hope you enjoyed that video. Again, I'd really appreciate it if you would like this video and uh, hope you have a great New Year's. Cheers.